Brother is Dusk, you'll meet Dusk a bit later. Um, he's drinking formula now. He's he was struggling to eat meat. Um, it took us quite some time to put him onto meat, but yesterday was the first day that he started eating meat. But all the animals that you'll see still get a milk bottle. That's just to keep the bond with them, but uh, Dawn is still faster with the titi bottle because he only started eating meat yesterday, so he still prefers his titi bottle. He's not going to live in the house at the time, right? No, just until he's over the bottle, maybe six months. And then where he's going to go? And then he's going to go to the Iron Throne Predator and Wildlife Sanctuary. So Dawn just made a lovely wee. As you can see, you can't potty train jaguars. Or tigers for that matter. <laughs> so this is the milk for the lions. Formula. Everyone raising lions has their own kind of way how to make milk for the babies. Here we go. You ready? So this is the crew. That's kind of weird to see an image like that. I suppose normally you're going to see a baby there, you know, like a child, a human <laughs> child, not three baby lions. <laughs> That's a full tummy. That's a full tummy, yo. It's a full tummy, yo.
feet are so weak. Hello, Dory, Dory. Goodies on. Hello, Dory, Dory. Hello, Dory, Dory. Hello, Sarah. Mia Roti. Now, I see one tiger, I see two wolves, and I six, see six, five or six dogs. Six this, to be exact. Six to be exactly. So you have to admit, there's something kind of weird in that photo. You know, people are probably going to ask <laughs> in the comments, okay, I, I understand the baby, I understand the dogs. How exactly the wolf and the tigers get inside that image, you know, that, why? Because um, when all the animals are small, when they're born in captivity, you have to hand raise them. When um, a lot of people ask why small cubs or even tigers or wolves aren't left with the mother in captivity, it's simple. If you leave the babies with the mother, they'll become aggressive. She'll know she's a lion, she'll know she's a tiger, and therefore they hand raise. Now if you hand raise them at home, they need to be bottle fed every three hours. Um, as you'll see. Three, uh, every three hours? Every three hours, yes. So basically it's eight times a day, even yes. during the night. You have to get up in during the night? Yes, even during the night. It's exactly like having a baby. Uh, you have to stimulate <laughs> them because remember that the mom licks them to wee and poo. So you have to rub their bums and things like that because the mom is not there to lick and, and stimulate them. Therefore you have to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore they're all at my house and the reason for the river and the long walk to here is all the exercise, it's good for them as you can see the animals love the water, they go ballistic, it's like a play date basically. Now what's going to happen, I know the dog is going to stay with you, but what's going to happen with the wolves and the tigers? Well when they're, when they're the right age they'll go into captivity. Uh, we didn't breed them, we didn't ask for them to be here, we didn't make with the parents. So unfortunately they are here and um, they are being hand raised and therefore they'll go into captivity then when they're the right age. So the reason you have these cubs is because people took them as like pets or something like that? Yes, oh. some of them are born in captivity. Um, as you'll see, we have the Iron Throne Predator and Wildlife Sanctuary. Yeah. Some are pets, some are kept as pets and therefore then given to us. Um, some people uh, rescue animals and then ask us to rehome them. Um, others are born in captivity, not from our place, but overall. And then we sit with them, so at the end of the day we have to hand raise them and look after them and things like that. Well, thank you, Beavis. It's a pleasure, guy. And guys, uh, guys, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. you come on let's go come, come right now.
Come on. 